what's up everybody it's your girl poppy loner here coming to you with another video okay so as you guys can see from the title above we are going to be doing a reading on who's sick about you who's in a fifis who's feeling it okay so really this is on par with just what's going on me and bliskins are sick and i was just like you know what i'm about to do a who's sick about you reading and use some of our medicines as the groups you know what i'm saying that's how you turn lemon into lemonade okay period all right so our piles <laughs> are gonna be this vitamin c i don't know what order just yet but i just want to show them to you okay so we have the immune plus 100 milligrams vitamin c i'm not sponsored by these people okay that's what that's looking like so that's going to be a pile vibe with the energy vibe with the energy our next pile, I'm about to pop one of these right now, is going to be this Hall's Relief Honey Lemon 30 Drops. Yes. Okay. This is what she's given. Mm hmm. Let's take one of them right now. And then our. Uh, well, I was about to say our another, our next, our next group is going to be this Delsum. Cough, 12 hours. Cough, relief, grape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what she's given. She gives. Okay. So, I think this is going to be pile one. Our Dalesome. This is going to be pile two. And our emergency is going to be pile three. Yeah, there it is. That's how I'll be talking to Bliss. Yeah, yeah, Bliss Gans. Yeah. <laughs> But um, yes, five with the energy. Again, pile one is Delsum. Pile two is gonna be the Hall's Relief Honey Lemon. And then pile three is gonna be our Immune Plus 100 milligrams vitamin C emergency, okay, for pile three. So go ahead and pick intuitively and I will see you guys at your pile. So I instantly just wanted to jump in with this group. I didn't wanna prep, I didn't wanna go outside and meditate, go into the trees. So this could be someone that you're already expecting to be sick about you, okay? Um, this person's name could start with a D. Oh, Bliskins. They don't hear Bliss. But she's out there with Bay, so she's good, okay? And that might be like how she just start crying, like having those little outbursts. Like, I'm telling you, this person could be having that. So 12 hours ago literally something could have happened 12 hours ago 24 hours ago a couple days ago it feels very recent for some of you guys with this person um whether it be you reread something did you reread a message did they reread a message um or you could have broke up with somebody you could have gotten somebody's ass cheeks let them know about themselves just saying so what i'm gonna do someone's last name could be smith or um the the name that starts with an S, W, or a D could be prominent. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three cards. I'm only going to take the ones that flat out say the zodiac signs. Any other ones I'm just not going to take. So let's see. Who is this person that's sick? Who's sick about y'all? Who's in their fees for power one? Who's sick about power one? Who's sick about power one? Who is sick about power one? Who's sick about power one? This group is going to probably be drawn to another pile. So this is not... Okay, but I'll, I'll read it. But this is not a zodiac sign. So this is Year of the Pig. 
We also have coming to offer resources and stability. We have the ox. Yeah, so they telling me everything but who they are, okay? So let's see. So that lets me know whoever this is that's feeling sick about you, they want to, there's a lot of like, I want to rectify it immediately. I want to change it immediately. Whoever this is, they, they want to fix it immediately. I'm hearing immediately. All right, give me three. Who is this person? We have Aries. I was getting Virgo, but I guess. Oh. Is that North Node? It's like it's telling me everything but what I need to know. Like, why would the North Node come out when I'm asking for a literal? Like, I need it to be literal. This person likes to talk about everything but the topic at hand. And that probably is what what got y'all to where y'all at, okay? Just saying. We have Aquarius. And then we also have, they could be Sagittarius, Pisces. I don't know. Let's see. Who is sick about you? Who's sick about you? This person could like grape soda. <laughs> So I'm going to shuffle these on camera. Oh my gosh, my nose is itching. And I'm going to see just what comes out to me while I'm shuffling. You make this person hot. You make them hot. Oh my gosh, this definitely feels like this could be someone's um, partner. Oh my gosh. this <laughs> They're like, can we... No, I'm fixing this immediately. This person, I feel like they want to apologize. Well, they definitely want to fix this. For sure. For sure. And you know what else? Like this Delsum, this is only a 12 hour suppressant. So I feel like, and that's another thing, because this is for a cough. So there's something that they want to say to you for sure. Could have a little bit of a frog in their throat. But I could tell that when they be about to say it, they like swallow it. There's a lot of like suppressing it, but then it coming back up. So I would not be surprised if this person just ends up having like an outburst. Or just like they just come in hot because I feel like I'm sorry y'all give me one second I don't know y'all listen they having it out there she just not having it she just want to be all up under me <laughs> right now but there's a lot of like suppressing so this person could have been being hard for the first 24 hours but whatever happened between y'all whatever the time frame just know shit is starting to hit them like Whatever little shield they had, mm -mm, it's starting to hit them. And, and yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get into this because I just got to know. This does feel like a love situation, though. And, yeah, sometimes I'll shuffle these off camera, but... I don't know if y'all notice, but sometimes when I do it on camera, I'm able to like see a story in the cards. It's going to sound weird, but like certain cards get highlighted to me. And once they get highlighted, any card after that card I watch and it like tells me a story with like what's going on. Whoever this is, I could definitely tell they want to apologize to you. But there's energy where it's like if they did apologize and it, this happened already, it's like. But we still didn't discuss the matter at hand. I don't understand why this person keeps trying to get away from the root. The root. Like. <laughs> and then I'm getting a lot of, okay, so you still ain't, you still don't get it? All right. Blocked. <laughs> Blocked for another 12 hours. This is like an in and out situation. This is like a back and forth situation. <laughs> I'm picking up one. Ooh, got the sniffles. I got the sudsies. I got the suds. Okay. So who is sick? Who is this person that's sick about my power one? Who's sick about my power one? Contains no fever reducer or pain reliever. Mm. So whatever they've been using to try to numb, it's not helping them. It's not helping them. It's not helping, okay? The numbing has worn off. Oh, the two of cups. I told y'all, the two of cups. 
So this is definitely someone who you care about, cared about. You could have been in a relationship with them. You could have been in a marriage with them. Um, it feels romantic. I mean, it could talk about a friendship with the Two of Cups, but this feels romantic, okay? So this is feeling like this was bae, okay? Who oh, is sick? Ooh, the Three of Swords. I told you, it, it. I'm telling you, it was very straightforward. Like, boom. Like, you don't even got to prep pee. I'm going to let you know, like, I'm sick about them and I want them to know now, okay? Gosh, this person is talking to their friends about you. There could be two to three people that they have in their life that they're able to talk to. These other energies feel masculine. Now, masculine doesn't mean manly, but they just feel masculine to where, I don't know, something about it feels masculine, okay? Hmm. So we have cancer energy there. Oh, I hate when I start just naming out a bunch of zodiacs because it's like, well, damn, bitch. So all 12 zodiacs, you know, but we do have cancer energy here and we do have Libra, which lets me know that there's a lot of cardinal energy coming through. So it could have been very hard for this person to see your point of view at first. And they could have been very stubborn, very annoying, very like I'm dying on this hill. And now it's starting to hit them. This is not the first time, though. This person has a tendency to try to suppress. And then it ends up like boiling over. But the way it boils over, it be intense. Because they tried to suppress it. I'm not trying to be nasty. I don't know why my mind just went to this. Like, what's going on with my brain? But anyway, there was this show. <laughs> there was a show where they were talking about. Oh, it's so disgusting. I'm sorry. I'm even saying this. It was a show they talk about farting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anytime I have to make these connections, it'd just be so funny. Like yesterday I made a connection using P. Diddy. And my boyfriend was like, what? But anyway, um, where they talk about like, if you don't let a fart out and you just kind of hold it in and get it to go down, when it come back up, it's going to come back with more force. It's going to hurt. You know, some people be still holding it in. You ever try to hold one in or even like hold a burp in? Come on, y'all. Ooh. <laughs> Like, why would I even say that? Like, that's how this feels. It's hurting them more to try to hold this shit in. Oh, my phone just went off too. Look at that. That's interesting. Okay. Can you tell me more about this Three of Swords? What is this Three of Swords? Oh. The Nine of Pentacles. Hurt Bay. She left me. Did y'all just break up with somebody? Ooh, what, what? Okay, no, no. What got this person like in this energy? What recently happened that got this person in this energy that's connected to this nine of pentacles? What recently happened that got this person in this energy? Okay, so we have, I'm pretty sure that's temperance. Ooh, excuse me, sorry. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> what the fuck? And the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, I've been getting this a lot. Like, I've just been hearing these stories and readings. I've been getting them a lot in my readings. <sighs> and then you got this Strength card here, the Chariot, and this Five of Swords. Okay. Sorry. I don't know how much time necessarily passed here it felt more recent or at least this feeling of oh like i just feel so sick about power one that came on recently there's a shift here something had let me tell you there's been a shift in energy you seem calmer because look at the six of pentacles the six of pentacles is there that's letting me know like there's just a calmer energy here everybody has their resources no one's feeling stressed Money's good on my end. Money's good on your end. It's almost like this person feels like they could think clearly. So maybe they were having issues. But it's like, that's cool and all. But just because you got all your resources together now doesn't automatically mean that you could just waltz in here like everything is fine and dandy. Like, don't forget you showed your ass. Like, that's what it's giving me. But there's just this energy here of... 
I'm not gonna lie, they're viewing you as very soft. They love your like breast area. I'm just saying that. But anyway, they they're viewing you as very like nurturing, softer, calmer. Like maybe that energy is putting them in the mindset of like, okay, maybe I can come towards them now. Um, established. And with that nine of pentacles, you are continuing, okay? You have continued. You're still getting the money. You're still showing up for yourself. You're still doing you, even after the relationship, even after the breakup, even after the argument. And you're doing it gracefully. And for whatever reason, that is... Oh, <coughs> oh my gosh. Triggering this person to want to come towards you. It's a slow coming towards you. It is. It's a little slow. But um, I feel like it's slow... Or maybe it was slow. No, no, no. Let me see what I'm getting here. Something is slow. Why is this? This is draining them. Them not being connected to you or them not having you anymore is sucking the life out of them. Not going to lie. Um, it might be a part of this person's like karma to chug back and maybe apologize. There's this energy here of like, if I do it, I got to do it right. Okay. Um... And then, like, it's interesting because you see the Six of Pentacles when I asked, like, what triggered this? You see that Six of Pentacles? Did some of y'all recently get a divorce? That's interesting. For some of y'all that got a divorce or filed for a divorce, that could have been the, the thing that was like, oh, my gosh. Wait, she's serious. <laughs> like, hold on. She is serious. It's something that you've been holding off on that you finally did or, like, you finally put into motion it doesn't feel completely solidified yet with this Knight of Pentacles. It's, it feels like it's still in the works, but it is something that got this person thinking like, okay, you could play around if you want to. But like I said, it's so funny because my camera just went out because it was full and I literally was getting the energy curtains, curtains, bitch. Like, I don't know. You guys could have gave somebody an ultimatum. What caused this? Let me just ask. What caused this? Oh my God, they look drained. The moon. Secrets came out. Some of you guys, this could be... Oh, wow. Some shit should could have hit the fan. I ain't gonna lie. And it, I feel like it put things in perspective for you. First of all, y'all look like y'all doing fabulous. At least that's what it's showing up as. So if y'all not doing good, but you've been wanting to like at least like give the image that y'all look good... Bitch, it's working. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, but I'm going to stand in my truth. It's so hilarious because I remember <laughs> back in the day, this was at my first base. <laughs> um, I think I was like all fucked up about some connection at the time, but I just wanted to start. Like, I just wanted to make it seem like I was going, <laughs> like I was going out. Bitch, I wasn't going out. Like, I was in the house trying to video edit doing my video content but I was like I'm gonna make it seem like that so honey I put on a heel one heel okay some Vaseline Vaseline that foot okay had the little my nails was done my little toenail leg was shaved and I had the little dress just so you could see a little a little leg action and I had it as if I was walking boom because that's gonna get the image that a bitch just stepped out whole time I'm in the house <laughs> But as long as you think I'm stepping out, bitch, that's all that fucking matters. It's my mom calling me again. I'm going to call her. But that's how I know I'm on point. So even if that's not how you're really feeling, that's how it's coming off to this person. And it is like provoking these thoughts. Now, for others of you, there were secrets, there were lies, there was deception. However you want to spin it, there could have been a third party situation. Your person could have been, you know, given elsewhere. All I'm going to say is whatever has happened, it got them in this energy of like, you deserve that from me. Now, I'm not saying that you should take them back because if they did already cheat, of course, P is not about to be sitting here hooping and hollering like, yeah, take them back, girl. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you do you. But what I'm saying is this person, there's just this energy of like, I should be giving that to you. They shouldn't have done this to you. Okay. Like, because this is making me think like you guys could have a very sweet energy but there's just this vibe of they didn't deserve that. They they deserve more. Like, they deserve all my resources. They deserve all my time. They were very patient with me. But that's the funny part about it. You should have been in this energy five chances ago. And you weren't. You missed your stop. That's what it's given. 
How are they seeing you right now? How is this person seeing you right now? Wow, they feel shitty. Whew, the Ten of Swords in reverse. I'm stuck. How are they seeing you? The Nine of Cups. You have a lot of nines around your energy. You seem very fulfilled without them. But they want to believe that with me, it could be better. We could be great. <laughs> The five of wands in reverse, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, how they're viewing you, you don't seem to be in the same energy that you were in before. So if you were sad, distraught, just, like, feeling betrayed, feeling like you didn't know which way to go, feeling like you were in some type of loop, you know, with the emotions that you were feeling, the negative emotions, all of that seems to have passed. You've, you've progressed. That's how they're viewing you. You're not sad no more. You're not... Um, I don't know why that word just came through. That's not the word I want to use. What's another word? Hold on. Not the sad one. There was something that was in my mind. Let me, let me, let me think about it first. <sighs> not paranoid. You're not like, there's something here where there could have been a little bit like I have to walk on eggshells, but you're not in that energy no more. Okay. The energy seems more clear. There's something about that. The energy is softer right now. At least to them, your energy is softer. And maybe it is. Maybe your energy is softer, period. But I'm scared. I don't want them to make the wrong move because your energy could be softer. But who's to say it's softer towards them, you know? It could be a rude awakening there. But anyway, with the five of wands in reverse, you're not combative. You don't want to argue. You're just not in that energy. And that's something that is very attractive to them in regards to you right now. Just saying. That nine of cups sideways... Wow. This is interesting. Look at that judgment card. Okay. Um, the same things that used to trigger. Okay, look, this is what it is. It's a, it's a big loop here. Because what I wanted to say is the same things that would trigger this person, you know, that triggered them, that's connected to this Nine of Pentacles. Maybe your independence or just like your autonomy. I don't know. Um, but the same things that triggered them are the same things that are attracting them right now. And it'd be like that. Like, a lot of the times, the same things that people be attracted to in regards to me, like, oh, like, you're just an Aquarius. You just do you. You're free-spirited. You say what you want. You're free. You're blah, blah, blah. It'd be the same shit that people be like, bitch, <laughs> you just say whatever, duh. <laughs> this bitch, she just free. She just be doing anything, duh. <laughs> She's so blunt, duh, the fuck did you think I, what did you think this was? Like, duh, like pick a side. So there's this energy, you know, I like that, okay? And for whatever reason, they're in deep thought and reflection about the past, but because this wasn't reversed with this judgment card, they don't want to stay in the past. Like, there is reflection there and it is deep, but it's not deep in the way of like, I'm looping, I'm going on this loop of like all the things that happen it's more so like it's deep to the point where it was able to activate me to make moves presently now in order to shift the energy so let's see what are their next moves towards you if any what are their next moves towards you oh my gosh not that falling in my coffee this two of pentacles just fell in my coffee so something got it let me tell you something this motherfucker right here see and that's what they get some of you guys if there was a third party situation, I know this motherfucker was not about to try to come towards you with that motherfucker still there. And that's why I fell in the coffee. Two of Pentacles. Underneath that is the moon. Oh, shoot. Is that the moon? So this wasn't the moon? Oh, that was the sun. But it's funny because the moon is here. Anyway, I'm sorry. That was the sun. Um... So when I was talking about like what could have happened here, like secrets, ego, or like secrets, what also could have happened is control issues, ego, toxic masculinity, okay, pride. Someone could have been a Facebook comedian. You're doing too much. You want to be out and about. You don't want to like settle down, okay? It's giving Kimbra settle down energy. You don't want to do that. All right. Now with this two of pentacles in reverse... This person is going to do something. They're going to try to attempt to come to you. This this might not even be something that you see. I'm just giving you insight. And that's their problem. It's not going to work because, and I'm talking to them, you cannot be coming to my pile one with the same baggage. 
they got some stuff that they need to get in order before they fully come towards you. I ain't gonna lie, some of them might be very, they might be feeling very audacious. Is that a word? They might really like muster up the audacity to still come through knowing that they didn't filter shit out. I can see that here. Uh, but uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> and then we got the King of Cups. They want to talk to you. Look at that. You see that? This is their next move towards you. I just want you to intuitively look at this. Not only are they writing, almost like a script there. They also got all this water coming from their chest area into this cup. They're like wanting to express. They want to express. So there's expression here. But this person, they have a pride issue. I see that here. If, hold on, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Woo, we are really in the sick energy, aren't we? Um, There's this vibe. There's something that they're still not doing right. I hate that. Because it's like, I can see this person trying to come towards you. For example, let's say there was a third party. I could see this person trying to come towards you knowing that they're still in a relationship. But it's almost like they don't see it as an issue because they're like, I'm trying to get to you, power one. But it's like, nigga, didn't we already? Do you not remember how we got here in the first place? Do you not remember with the two of cups and the three of swords? Do you not remember? Okay. Yeah, this person is definitely going to um, express. They want to express something to you. Um... I do feel like they're going to talk about something that they removed or gave up in order to come towards you. But all I'm going to say is fact check it, okay? So what is my viewer's advice with this person? Because they look drained. The tower card <laughs> in reverse. Be careful. I would say, um, is that even in reverse? I don't even think that's in reverse. That's upright. The tower card is here. Your advice. <sighs> Tread carefully. You can decide on whether you want to take this person back or not. But, I mean, do you see the tower card there, friend? Just saying. Um, I feel like if they were to come back, they need to make sure they clear out all that dumb shit first. Like, that's why the tower moment is here. Your advice. Page of Swords. Stand on business. The Emperor. Stand on business. Okay. And the Nine of Wands is in reverse. So, I don't know. You could be being asked to maybe hear them out, but to be able to stand on business. Like, allow them to come. I don't know. And this could be like, this not might not be the highest of high advices. This could be just someone on your spiritual team. No offense. But there's just this energy of like, if you've been wanting closure or if you've been wanting an apology, I see that coming in. And it might be a level of, you know, keeping the door open so that that can come in. But I do feel like you guys are going to have an opportunity to say your piece, show your strength, show your discipline, and set boundaries. Um, and you're being asked to do that. I do feel like that's meant to happen with this person. I will say that. And whatever else you want to do after that, totally up to you. Okay? So, let me see what else I want to pull. Hold on real quick. I kind of did this backwards, my bad. But... One more card. I gotta go blow my nose. Three themes that's happening with this connection and this person. Three themes. How this person can be or who this person is that's sick. Who is this person? What they're feeling. Okay. Three themes. Three themes. Three themes. They feel silly. Oh, they feel silly about something. They feel silly. Silly. Breakups and makeups. I told y'all I was picking up on that energy. This is like that back and forth shit already. We also have detachment. These are the themes that kind of play out. And we have synchronicity. Yeah, I can see that. A feather and a key might also be a sign that this person is about to come forward. I really didn't pull these to explain. I more so pulled them for y'all. Okay, but this right here, this breakups and makeups... That's interesting. That detachment energy, I'm telling you, they be trying to detach. They be trying to, you know, this dosum. They be like, let me take a little dosum. Let me suppress it. But it don't, it ain't working. No. Because there's always these signs that bring them back to you. But I don't know if this synchronicity, these signs and symbols that they're getting that are kind of like, I don't know. I'm almost seeing like someone like pat somebody on the butt. Like it's almost like these synchronicities point them back to you. So whenever they start to get numb, there's things that happen around them that make them remember you and make them kind of get in their fifis. 
And I think that's what's kind of pushing them into this energy. They definitely struggle with ego now that I saw that sun and that moon. But there's this complimentary energy here. So you could be supposed to teach this person something. But we're not getting into that because this wasn't supposed to be that deep. Okay. But yes, Paul, when that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And I'll see you guys down below in the comments. Yo. <laughs> How to let me tell y'all what just happened okay so first of all I was already told to get into the energy to grab a haul I gotta remember that these are definitely medicated let me tell you about your person your person smokes um this person that is sick about you they're so funny like they're goofy y'all can have like really good conversation but actually before I get into that Real quick, y'all, this group, because you know we're talking about who's sick about you. You know, it's the vibes. Like, who's sick? Who's feeling bad? Who's like, damn, I'm in my feelings about Pile 2. Let me just let y'all know, though. There's another energy here. It was like a, oh, gotcha, tricked you, talking to me like, I, listen, hear me out. As I was shuffling the cards, I got this bright idea. I was like, hmm, maybe I should... Like, there was some question that came up. I'm like, maybe I should do this or maybe I should pull extra. And I'm like, wait a second. That's not even what this reading is about. And then I just started getting this energy. And plus, I'm watching Basketball Wives and there's like this scene. Like, I'm going way back, okay? Like, do y'all know Evelyn and like Royce? Like, I'm back to that. Like, listen, I'm about to show y'all. I'm back to this. Like, this is far back. If you know what I'm talking about. Um, this person, uh, one of their teeth could be missing. Or some of them might even have a front tooth that's missing. That's only for some of y'all. Regardless of the fact, there's two people coming through here. There's somebody, like, specifically that's actually sick about you. And there's somebody else that was trying to pose as the I'm sick about them type. It's almost like a... Like, it's almost like they snuck through. Like, literally, I keep getting this energy of this person trying to sneak through the door to get into the VIP section. But it's like, how they snuck through was not like, oh, like, I don't know. They just kind of, like, weaseled their way through. No, they changed their whole fucking identity. Like, I'm getting a lot of, like, for real, for real, they could have been male. But then they, like, put on a whole costume of like female attire and like where is that even going so that's another thing like i was trying to tell y'all about <laughs> an example but now i'm wondering if some of you guys the person you're asking about if they're trans only take that if it resonates because that's not where i was going with it where i was going though trying to stay on topic is like there's this vibe y'all got two people i'm gonna be talking about basically the person that's sick about you and then this other motherfucker that's like nah i got to get in the party I got to let them know how I'm feeling. That's how this person's vibe is. So let me get them out the way so that they can exit stage left. Okay. No offense. First of all, they're funny though. There's like a funny energy. Also, I was getting this lemon head energy. Someone likes lemon, lemon cake, lemon heads. <sighs> let me see. Let me put this in. Oh, wow. Look at that. These have little sayings on them. Let me see if they do they all do that? bitch y'all oh man y'all gonna just have to take a second this person could have um add adhd one of those a pep talk in every drop i ain't never noticed that did y'all know that i never knew that i literally just as we're on this camera i'm literally just now finding out that halls is out here being motivational with every drop so okay because now I don't know which person. Maybe they're the same person. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting like an infiltration though. I'm going to just talk and then y'all put the energy where it needs to. Someone here is giving, I like lemon heads. Literally, they're taking me to the movie Baby Boy. This person could be like a roughneck. Somebody, whoever, one of these people is giving roughneck energy. I'm seeing somebody like, y'all remember Snoop Dogg when he was in the plaid shirt and he was kind of like sitting back. I'm getting somebody like sitting back on a couch smoking. Um... They're silly as fuck, though. Like, <laughs> they're so funny. But anyway, okay. Let me just work through this. Okay. 
this person could act hard and y'all know that like that's something that you say about this person like damn they always acting hard um and you know the the funny thing about this energy it feels like there's playful banter like some of you guys there's a friend right now that's just like y'all could have recently just gotten to a little argument it's funny though because i could see one of y'all being male the other one be a female and then it's like y'all not it's, it's super platonic but like maybe there's like this brotherly sisterly like banter like that person could there's this energy of like can we not be arguing about this no more somebody said something I, I feel that somebody said something that i do feel like they wish they could take back in this whole scenario they said something and it was it was hurtful they was in a this is not gonna sound right when i say it but they was in a hard energy like they was ooh, like i don't know <laughs> i'm getting that so Real quick, because I got to stay on topic. I just jumped around so many different places. Let me go back to this, because I, like, no, we got it. We can't just brush past that. Yeah, there's this energy. Someone is like, we cannot just brush past that. Talking about y'all, though. Because, like, the way I just looked at this, y'all should see how I got my hand on my hip. I'm standing up. I'm just looking at these, smacking, like, hmm. I didn't know they had them little motivationals in there. I am perp Like, that is... Flabbergasting. Don't try harder, do harder. This person's last name could be Harden or Harding. I keep getting the hard. It's it's not giving sexual. I don't know. There's something about that though, for real. Harden. Harding. That's so crazy. So something about you, they're like, we cannot just brush past that. So you could have revealed something. There could be something new going on in your life. Or there's just this energy of someone like how many times have I had hauls in my life probably so many times but like this is the first time in my I don't even know how old I am right now what 28 years I think life be life and I'll be forgetting in my whole 28 years of living okay I ain't never noticed that shit until right now like y'all should see my eyes I'm like whoa it gives a whole like these ain't even just hauls now these is hauls with a razzle dazzle like this makes me this lets me know like the company cares like you get what i'm saying like it's a deeper <laughs> like it could get deep this is the type of individual if you smoke with them like the conversations with this person can go crazy in a good way like y'all could talk about so many different things so many different things um somebody has great conversation here or y'all had great conversation but like when it comes to you there's this level of I can see a like a deepness like there's something like there's more depth to you now that they've seen something can you give me some more energy about that they've gotten some information about you someone let them know some information the five of cups okay maybe this person that's sick about you I kind of was getting that vibe once I started getting into the goofy energy you guys could be going through something or you could have recently had a death in the family, um, anything like that. Like this person seems to be very aware of a, I don't know why I was about to say shortcoming or like of they're, they're aware of this, which is making me think you might even be friends with this person now. Um, they're aware that you're going through something or that you could be facing, maybe you're in the thick of your depression. Like this person seems to be aware that you are having a moment. Okay. It could be related to something that recently happened or it could be related to something regarding past energy resurfacing. They're very aware of that. So I feel like there's this energy of wanting to come in and help you. They're like, no, no. And that's crazy. Help, Let me help you get relief. So if there's a friend that you guys are kind of like keeping out right now, not even because you're, you're necessarily trying to. It's just you need a moment. You know, you're like and I get like that too like if I'm in the thick of like my depression and I don't even want to say it like that because it's not something I go through constantly but like when I have gotten depressed when you get there people don't understand like it is a at least for me like anytime I come out of it, I'm able to be like, damn, why didn't I think of that? Like I forgot. It's almost like I forget that I have friends. I forget that I have family. I forget that I have resources. You just feel so deep in it that you can't see nothing. It's the worst feeling ever. It's the worst feeling ever because 
is something that even me as of right now, in my state of mind that I'm in, when I look and try to go back to those moments where I know I was just depressed, I just don't even want to do it because it's like it changes your whole mind. Like you're not even thinking clearly. So some of you guys could be feeling like that. You know, if you got to switch it, you know, switch it. But there's just this energy of they're like, I know, friend, like, friend, I know you're going through stuff. Like, I know, like, this is how you get. I know you need space, but I just need you to know that I am here. So there is somebody that is like, I, I got you. And that might be why they, they stepped in the reading like this, because they're like, hold on, bitch. I'm literally seeing someone take their foot. I almost literally took my foot and put it on the camera. Like, I'm literally seeing somebody take their foot and go, hold on, bitch. Like, I got to put my foot up here. I got to I gotta step in. Before y'all close them gates, let me like, you, you ever see somebody stop the door like with their foot? I'm literally seeing somebody do that. They're like, oh, hold on. Okay, friend, like, I know you came to this reading because you want to know who's sick about you, but hold the fuck on. Before you give them that message, let me let me come through and let them know, like, I'm here, friend. Okay, so there's somebody here that's like, they're like, I get it. And they keep wanting to stress that. They're like, please let them know that I'm not trying to cross their boundaries. I'm not trying to push them, like... It's like they know this about you. They know that there's a certain way they have to handle you when you get into this energy. But they're like, they're concerned about you. They're like, let me help you. And it's totally up to you guys on whether you want that. But what I will say is, I don't know. Like somebody might need to hear that. You know, you may not be thinking clearly. And just really take a second to think, do I really not have my support system right now? Because... But then again, it's like, man, let me not, let me not even, let me not even. I'm not even going to get into that because, honey, that's a whole conversation. But tell me more about this. Gosh, Six of Wands Justice card. <laughs> I just heard I'll spin about you. You got somebody coming through here. And this could even be maybe your spiritual team. I'm not going to lie. This is like a totally separate message. There's this energy of, I just want you to know, we going to spin the block for you. And we going to make sure that no stone is unturned, okay? So I don't know. Somebody here could have witnessed something, like witness like an event. There is just this energy. Like whoever this is I'm picking up on, they do not play about you, okay? Like this is like, uh, I'm going to spin the block. Like, and if you know what I'm talking about, like, well, not everybody's going to know. Spin the block means like, well, it can mean so many different things. But basically this person is saying like, anybody that fuck with you, like, I'm going to make sure to step in and I'm going to handle it. Okay. If I can't get to them, I'm going to get to somebody close to them. All right. And I'm not talking violence, you know, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying like, this just feels like I'm going to make sure that you come out of this on top. Okay. So outside of that though, because... <laughs> We ain't come here for this. Who is sick about you right now? Like, who's sick about you, Pile 2? There's a lot of, like, we gonna get justice, friend. Like, you see that? We gonna get justice. Um, who's sick about you, Pile 2? Who is sick about my Pile 2? This might be two people. You guys have a couple people actually sick about you. You have a Leo and a Virgo. Okay. Who is sick about you? Who is this person? Well, first of all, why are they sick? What caused this? You're not talking to them. You're not talking to them. Okay, now this person, let me see. Where did they fuck up at? First of all, you're not talking to them. And it's crazy because, like, as I'm pulling, like, it's very straightforward with this group. It's like, they're not, you're not talking to them. You cut them off. You cut them out. They don't have access. You're not moving forward with them anymore. You're done working on this. Um, the strength card is here. So, but like, I don't think, mm, let me see. Because I was using this, these two cards for who they were. Just based off of Zodiac, that's it. But that could fall with what I'm picking up on over here. Let me look. Let me get into it, girlfriend. Let me get into it. All right. What happened here? Wait, what did this person do? They did something. What did this person do to my pile two? Uh, you know what I thought that card was going to be? 
But regardless, it was giving hangman energy for a second there. But the world card, that's what it is. It's the world card in reverse. What an idiot. I'm sorry. <sighs> wow. This is one of those energies where it's like, of course they're sick, P. So this is like one of your... It's so aggravating. It's like this person had a chance. This is even probably two people. Like this, this feels like a theme that ends up happening. You know, this could have happened a couple times in your life. All right. So this might just be a message of just know that those are the people that are really missing you right now or like sick, like damn, kicking themselves. Okay. There are people that you tr like, I feel like you tried to work on it. You gave them a chance. Like there was... <sighs> Before you got into this energy, like you, you gave them ample opportunity here and either they were dragging their feet, they were ignoring and it's like, you just finally was like, okay, a bitch get tired. Okay. Like I'm like, I'm not going to keep chasing after you. I'm not going to keep nothing. Mm -mm. I'm exhausted. Like goodbye. You start putting your energy elsewhere and there's just this vibe of like, fuck. Like, there's this energy of, like, I might have played a little too long. Or I might have, like, I, I dragged that out. <laughs> I dragged that out a little too long. Like, um, there's, like, a quote, but I can't think of it right now. <laughs> oh, my God, they took advantage. Okay, they took advantage. <sighs> it's almost like this energy of this person could have been, or these energies, this theme. With this theme, there's this vibe of, like, procrastination and it's like I don't even think and I think they're sick about this with you is because they they there's not even this vibe of like anger like how dare they move on how dare they move forward how dare they close the doors on me no I think this person is really like kicking themselves like I totally understand why wouldn't they because when they really think back there was like ample opportunity here you could have forgave them a couple times. You could have allowed them to reset. There's a lot of like, I allowed you to reset. I allowed you to rest. Now I gave you your moments. I allowed you to regroup. I allowed you to get your thought process together so that you can come differently and you still, you still dropped the ball. I kept the door open. I held space for you. No, space. No, somebody else can occupy it. Move aside. Let him out. Let him out. Jeffrey. Let's bring Jeffrey in. Jeffrey, let me not even use the name Jeffrey. <laughs> but no, for real. There's like this vibe of get out, I'm moving somebody else in. You guys could be currently dating somebody with a name that starts with a B. Someone's name could be Brian here. <sighs> yeah, these people feel, they're like, damn. <laughs> damn. Oh my gosh. Tell me more. Okay, they want to get specific. Who is this person? These people. Six of Pentacles. I'm telling you. In this Knight of Pentacles. Do y'all see all them Pentacles? Heavy on the Earth energy. And the Four of Pentacles right here. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. So we have some Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But heavy on that Virgo. Because I had already mentioned the Virgo and the Leo. I had already talked about that. Mm. And you know what's funny? Y'all can't hear it. I don't think you can because it was in my earphone. But once I said Leo, my phone just went off in my ear. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. And, like, I love the fact that they're not, like, being bitchy about it, you know. But, like, on my end, I'm just like, what an idiot. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, they played with this. This was dumb. Like, this didn't have to happen. Like, this, this could have definitely been avoided okay just saying there's this level of watching you give to other people like you see how they're looking there's a lot of like i'm watching her give to other people it's funny though because they still want to come towards you it is intimidating there's a lot of like looking upon you and be like damn like look at what they got you guys even if you're in a relationship it doesn't matter if you're male female it doesn't matter okay what gender it doesn't matter Somebody here is definitely trans because I keep almost like going into like a different realm here and then I keep coming back. So someone here is definitely trans. We see you. We see you. So let me get back to this. Let me see. 
because I'm losing my train of thought. There's a lot happening here. It's layers. It's layers. You see how like they're looking, this beaver, this horse. <laughs> and that horse almost looks like it's like squinting their eyes a little bit. Like, mm. But and then you got the six of pentacles with this rooster. Very prosperous energy. Okay. You guys have like because sometimes when I think of the rooster, I think of the, you know, when they do that little sound, not I was about to do it, but uh, like in the morning, like you ever heard a rooster like go off? There's like that, that call, like that waking up to the call too. It's like you are doing it. Like y'all don't have to have a relationship in order to like progress. Like you don't need a man. You don't need a woman. You don't really need anybody. That's really what I'm trying to say. Like you are the resource. And they're recognizing that. So there's this energy too of like feeling less than, but not even in a way where it's like bitter. It's like they're genuinely like, no, I know. I already know. Like power two deserve better. All they could do is watch and feel sorry for themselves. Not even sorry for themselves. Like they just feel silly. It's weird. Let me see. Who's sick about you? Next. <laughs> Y'all got a couple people. Who is sick about my pile three? The hangman. I'm telling y'all, that is literally what I was getting when I got this world card. Y'all see that shit? Mm. The Knight of Wands. Oh my gosh! Not all my. Oh my gosh! Did y'all hear that? All my cards just start falling off of my desk randomly. So, hmm, hmm, energy. Let's see who this person is. So you guys could have been in a relationship with this person that I'm um, about to tell y'all about for a long time, okay? Definitely could have been a Virgo here. And I'm also getting the word fleeting. So this person could have ghosted you. They could have left abruptly. Um, but they left while things were already intense. And they kind of left. I'm getting like, I just keep hearing, I, they left you empty. But not, I don't know, some of y'all might resonate with that, but... I feel like it's more so like, I don't know, they left you empty. They left you with no answers. They left you swimming in, you know, the emotions that like were built up before whatever this little ghost in situation, this little walk away situation is that I'm picking up on. Yeah, that person's pretty sick. They definitely want to recounsel with this Three of Cups energy, okay? But let's see, Knight of Wands. This person was definitely a ho. I'm just joking. But no, seriously, this person was definitely very player-esque. You see this common theme here of like people taking their time, playing with the playing with the opportunity, playing with the energy, playing with you. It's a lot of that going on, okay? Who is this person that I'm picking up on right now? Who is this individual? Ooh, my gosh. <laughs> Mir, Karmic, we have Gemini, Leo, this person, ooh, if you guys are in a new connection, you're not feeling it, not feeling it, <laughs> this person's angry, now this person feels mad, okay, and I think that's why my cards is going everywhere, but um, they're not feeling that, they don't like it, and I think I'm a, you know I want to know more. So this person that's kind of coming with the anger or like the heat, who is, you know, not even just who is, who is they, but like, give us some more information. Okay. Queen of swords. Oh, you got into that. Mm. Not what I was about to say. <laughs> I got to stop saying that. Come on, let me, okay. Let me, let me go back. You got into that ass. I got to stop saying butt cheeks, booty cheeks, <laughs> all that, but you got into that ass. Um, you said something to this person that cuts, okay? Like, the last time you spoke to them, I'm pretty sure you let them know about themselves. You was not in the best of best energies, okay? Um, you definitely got out of character, for sure. Tell me about this person. Mm. Four of Cups. That's the thing, like... I feel like they were very emotionally unavailable. This person could have been a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, a water sign. Hold on, because this is funny. 
then you got this two of wands and this full card this person is going to definitely try to come back um but this person is definitely sick about you i feel like it's funny though because i'm like how much air time do i want to give them because it feels like this person walked away like it feels like this is giving me ghosting energy walk away energy i don't care energy i understand that you confess your love to me but that means nothing to me energy just a lot of like playing with the, the the moment a lot of playing with the moment here so why is this person sick about my viewers you could have blocked them you could still have them blocked i'm hearing you still got me blocked <laughs> so it's not even that you blocked them it's, it's not that it's that you still got them blocked okay why is this person sick about my pile too and you know my stomach just growls so you could be starving this person when it comes to like your energy you know what song just came through what's that song you keep your love locked down your love locked down you keep your love locked down your love locked down you keep your i don't even know if i'm singing it right but who is that kanye west wow i ain't heard that look at that knight of swords hold on y'all Oh, they got something to say. Is that Kanye? Let me look. Is that Ye? Lockdown. Kanye. Kanye West, love lockdown. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my stomach keep growling. <laughs> You're starving them. Page of Swords. They're definitely trying to stock off of a different account. So if you got them blocked on one thing, or if you think you closed shop, closed access, trust and believe they have a spam account. Um, they have other ways to pry. They have other people that can feed them information. They got something that they want to say. And it's crazy. They might have already even came at you crazy saying something. That's how you'll know who this person is. They could have already like wrote you really abruptly like talking crazy. But you didn't say nothing. You didn't say nothing. You didn't even give them no energy. You didn't even react. I love that for you, pal, too, if that resonates. That got them over there spiraling. Let me look at this. Okay, love lockdown. I'm not loving you the way I wanted to. What I had to do had to run from you. Ooh, I'm in love with you, but the vibe is wrong. And that haunted me all the way home. So you never know, never, never know, never know enough till it's over love. Till we lose control, system overload, screaming no, 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 no. I'm not loving you the way I wanted to. See, I want to move, but can't escape from you. So I keep it low, keep a secret code so everybody else don't have to know. You see what I'm saying? That's so funny because I didn't even know the lyrics was going to be that. But with this high priestess, this knight of swords, with the that secrecy, and then me having so much that I need to say, me having this clarity about who you are to me, but also like being able to be real with myself about the vibe being wrong, which is how things started off. I'm telling you, it's a whole thing here. Let me see what else he set up in here. Hmm. Gotta keep it going, keep the love loving going, keep it on a roll, only God knows. If I'll be with you, baby, I'm confused, you choose, you choose. I'm not loving you the way I wanted to, the way I want to go. I don't need you. I've been down this road too many times before. I'm not loving you the way I wanted to. So this person, obviously, whatever happened here, well, we already talked about what happened. The reason why it happened, which a lot of y'all already know, um, something about this connection scared the shit out of them, okay? You scare them. And I don't, I'm not saying that for you to feel bad, but because that don't got really nothing to do with you, but something about the love or like you or like what they would have to do as a person in order to be in some type of connection like this. Like maybe they noticed that they had to step up. It, it, that scared them. Okay. What else does my power to need to know? Who's sick about them? Who's sick about them? Someone's name could be Tori. The Wheel of Fortune. Life been turned on its ass cheeks for these people. See, I keep saying that. What's going on with me? But anyway, we got the Six of Pentacles again. And the Wheel of Fortune. Things have literally did a 180. So like where you might have been down bad, I'm telling you, you'll start to see that some of these people are going through some shit. Okay, there's something here where it's like... My bad, y'all. I had to stop that because I didn't want to rush the energy. We were about to hit 30 minutes, but I'm like, no, nah, I got to get this out. <coughs> mm. Like, this could even be really connected to, 
at the time of me um, even doing this reading, I'm sorry, give me one second. <coughs> and I'm gonna keep it in because it's on theme with the read, all right? Who is sick with this Wheel of Fortune though. There's like this vibe, like like I was saying, this could be connected to the eclipse that's going on. Like It feels like whenever you're watching this, there has been this shift of energy. And if you believe in like energy shifts, you'll know what I'm talking about, where people are looking back at you. People are looking to you. So at the time of this, let me see, what are my viewers going through at the time of them reading this? Look at that, Ace of Pentacles. You could have a new job. You could be building a new family new work opportunities you could be having a platform you could be broadcasting more you could be stepping out more you know when i look at that ace of swords i think of someone speaking their truth you know standing on business but it's also like people are seeing it you get what i'm saying like everybody sees this <laughs> oh my gosh page <laughs> terrible ten of wands very hard worker so at the time it feels like you're in this energy of just being very like on point okay very determined very flying straight very hard working very disciplined and your gains are being seen like they could physically be seen but you're also in an emotional state let me see where where their emotions nine of cups in reverse you could also be in this, I don't know why, there's this energy, like, there is this highlighted energy of you giving to people. So you could be in more of a giving energy. And I think that's also triggering some of these energies. It's like you're giving to others, but you are not giving to them. You know, you're friendly with others, but you're not friendly with them. But I brought this up because, look at that, Three of Swords. And the Five of Swords. Tuh. Like, these people did this to themselves. The reason why I even brought that up, any of that, it's almost like people are seeing this and they're all seeing it at the same time. So like, let's say if you have something big happen in your life, I don't know if it's being posted on social media, you know, there's word of mouth um, and you never fucking know, bitch, like your spiritual team, I be thinking things happen like this. They could be sneaking it up in somebody's dream, <laughs> putting a visual image of you and then boom that causes like this reaction like this domino effect of oh i i ain't even been thinking about that person but let me go check up on them boom they check up on you honey you got a mansion you got a new man new girl okay <laughs> like you got all this stuff and they're like boom now they're in this energy just that quick just that quick you just never know so that's kind of the vibes that i'm getting so um i think i'm gonna leave it there because I don't want to drag it out more than what I've already dragged it out. So, oh yeah, this person could be 30. Let me look at this. They're telling me to look at this. They could be 30. Someone could be a um, anesthesi anesthesiologist. This person, um, their nose could be larger. Also, y'all, okay. There's somebody here that uses honey packs. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Someone could have a, a child that's under four. I'm seeing Canada here. Someone could be from Canada, just moved to Canada. Someone, um, I just heard, I got my L's, I got my L's. So, I don't know why, is it CDL? Someone could be a truck driver here. Dang, there was something else I was gonna say. Where is it at? Somebody here could be allergic to soy. I feel like you could only know that if you was really like tapped in with this person. Oh, that's what it was. 1747 could be some numbers for y'all, but also the number four could be a number or the number 17 or the number 47 for someone's jersey, like basketball jersey, football jersey, soccer jersey, whatever the fuck, right? 444 as I'm in debt, okay? Spencer's could also be a favorite store of somebody. So yes, you guys, that was your spare. Please let me know how it resonates and I'll see you guys down below in the comments. All right, pile three. Oh my gosh. You know what's funny? Um, Cause I was just looking at this card because I'm about to shuffle on camera. And this is interesting because this is literally the state I'm in right now 
as far as like I just woke up probably not too long ago um well I guess I've been woke no I just woke up stop lying you can hear it in my voice so I feel like I'm still in like that dream state I'm still in like the other realm even though I feel like I always be in the other realm low-key I'm always stopping in honey the door is always open um so I know I'm but for real so let me talk to y'all. For real, for real, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I need one of these. So I'm gonna be shaking that down up in this Pedialyte. Honey, like, I'm for real sick. I for real got the sudsy wedsies. It's a whole nother day. So let me tell y'all about y'all person. So first of all, channel messages that I was getting. This person, <laughs> um, this person could have the Obama lips. Okay, like they could have darker lips. And trust me, I'm not judging. Because, honey, these lips getting crispy over here. <laughs> the way I've been blowing them back. But, um, no, for real. <laughs> uh, this person could have, like, Obama lips. This person could smoke cigarettes. They could smoke the ganja. They could smoke um, cigars. Regardless of the fact, I'm not going to lie, this person could be an early bird. Or they wake up early. Or they go to work early. I also am getting, not going to lie, your person seems like they're very invested in their own self-care. So this would be the type of individual, like, not going to lie, if this was a male, I could see them having a whole beard routine. Like, they have a whole beard kit, <laughs> and then they have, like, a whole routine with their beard, okay? Like, this is one of those. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, whoever I just saw. Okay, girl. Okay, I see your person. It was giving Zaza. It was giving Zaza. Um, I just seen a very chocolate man. What a beautiful chocolate man. I just seen a very chocolate man. Um, he's bigger. Like, this dude is bigger. Um, I don't know how tall they are. I just know, like, body-wise, what I'm seeing, they're bigger. Like, they got muscles. They be in the gym, and they got a beard, okay? Um, and I'm literally seeing them, like, exfoliate, okay? No, enough of that. Because not them creeping on me like I don't got a man, all right? <laughs> Please, exit stage left, sir. <laughs> Side nah, but for real. Um, I also feel like with this person, and I think, did I give this message in pile too? I can't remember the way I've been doing readings, but um, there's this energy of like just now noticing something about you. Because when I woke up, so I'm in here, right? And like next to us, I guess is our neighbors because I'm hearing like the lullaby and I'm like damn like I'm like I swear I just put on rain music so then I go to the room like I, I walk across and I'm like oh shit the rain is still playing which lets me know that's the neighbors because they also had a baby um that's them playing a lullaby which let me know these walls is motherfucking thin which then took me down a rabbit hole like oh my gosh when me and babe like you know, like, did they hear? Like, was they hearing us when we was doing the do? Like, especially when we was in the living room. I was just was like, oh, my God. So then I started going down this whole rabbit hole. Like, damn. So there's this energy. It almost, okay, it was pile two when I figured out that these halls. Oh, they, they right here. Yeah, girl, I felt, I did not know that halls was out here being motivational. Let's see what I pulled for y'all. Okay. I did not know that. Let me see what this is. Mm. Nothing you can't handle. I ain't say it. They did. All right. And it's right on top of that nine of pentacles. Like, I didn't know they had these in here. Mm. You know what's funny? Something just came to mind, and I don't know why. See, this person, they be joking at the wrong times. <laughs> because instantly, I'm trying to be motivational about the halls okay this is obviously a very serious nothing you can't handle that's very motivational very like serious okay but instantly i just got laffy taffy you know laffy taffy don't do motivationals they do jokes and that's the problem <laughs> with this person <laughs> they, they just think everything a joke that's for some of y'all right someone's person um person's name could be danny i just heard i'm the dan dan um, Dirty Dan. Oh, yeah, this person's name could start with a D. Or just be Daniel. This person could have a child named Daniel. So let me get these out. Okay. 
not me okay so when i look, looked at this super orange the song that came to mind was uh popa by ice spice so if you listen to that there could be like something in there that connects you to this person okay i know that's like a weird song choice but if i'm being honest not that i'm trying to get sexual this person could have like um hmm how can i say it you know that song by janae aiko but he gotta eat the like groceries just saying like there could have been an energy like that i'm not gonna lie because i'm thinking about that song munching on that popa like it's food in it like and i'm pretty sure popa means but i think Yeah, I got super lit. That's the part I was talking about. This person could like to go out. They could like to party. They could also be, they, they seem very attractive. And it's funny because the image that I was seeing of whoever I was just seeing, they, it almost looked like they were being like recorded or like they had their own channel. Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. Bless me. Um, let me see though. Yeah, I got super lit. Diamonds keep on dancing. I got a stupid wrist. <laughs> Rushing on that popa like it's food in it. Let me just see. Who is... I like that song. I just can't think of the lyrics right now. She be cracking me up in that song. Like I'm a Ida. Or like, like I'm a Nima. I ain't a Nima. Bad bitches, I'm your leader. <laughs> oh, it's her taking Nikki's line like that and then being in this spot that they're in. Anyway, okay. Who is the person? This person could be a life path seven. They could be born on the seventh of the month or they could be born on what month is that? January, February, March, April. Is that July? January, February, March, April, May, June, July. It is July. Okay, Cancer Energy. Who is this person that's sick? This person could be a gamer. They like anime. Um, who is this person that's sick about my pile three? Oh, that's what I was going to say. So this person, when they think about you the most, or when they get into this energy that I'm about to pull up on, it's like right when they wake up. I don't know if they wake up early. Like, They just took me to the military where we used to have to wake up and go do PT, but it would be like based on our squadron like our squadron will wake up on, at a certain time like i'm getting that type of energy like when you wake up and it's like a bunch of people at the gym like but it's different groups doing different things um yeah like that's what this is giving me somebody could be from louisiana here okay this person's spying on you so at this at this time they spy on you right now it is 503 in the morning who is this person that's sick about my pile three how funny is it that I just woke up, but I feel like this is going to be the clearest message that I get in this whole reading when I'm like out of it. Okay. Who is this person that's sick about how three? They know how to dress. Okay. They try to wake up Mr. West. Seven of Cups. Okay. Scorpio energy, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Mm. You could have dreamt about this person last night. This person could have um, met you in your dreams. Between last night and the last couple, I would say the last three days, but I ain't gonna lie, we do have the Seven of Cups, so it could have been the last seven days. Between when you're watching this and the last seven days, this person could have popped up in your dream. I feel like this person is popping up in your dreams because they're actually making their way towards you. Like, if you pulled cards on this person before, I feel like they would have came out as the Knight of Pentacles before. Which was always perplexing. Okay. They're definitely making their way towards you. It's slow. Who, why is it slow? Ooh. Not my nose running. Oh my gosh, I'm about to get upset. Okay, give me one second, y'all. Okay, I'm back. So, cause that was, that was crazy. I don't like that feeling of like my nose running and just on me. It's almost like having on a wet sock. Ooh, I can't stand a wet sock. Can't stand a wet sock. I want to know more about the seven of cups. Why is the seven of cups here? Yeah, if I was asking something else before I paused it, I don't remember. So let's just let that go and let's start from here. Okay. So why is the seven of cups here? It's so funny because if y'all 
like knew me in real life. <laughs> I forget shit all the time. But when I'm talking to Bay, like he knows it. Like if if I'm talking and like I don't know, we get a phone call and then he comes back to it like, okay, I'm sorry, Bay. What you what was you saying? He already know. Don't even ask me because I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I just got Dory short term memory loss. <laughs> So you guys could struggle with that or this person could struggle with that. Like you could be like, you act like you forgot. Like, why is the seven of cups here? Wow. <sighs> wow. Bitches. I'm oh, sorry. <sighs> Cause with this little Aries transit, I'm trying to tell myself, P, you've been cussing a lot. And I normally just be cussing, but it was even a lot for me. So I'm trying to calm down. Okay, with the Hierophant, I'm not going to lie, this person's in a relationship. Mm -hmm. They're in a relationship. Um, I'm not going to lie, this person could be taking their time because I feel like there's certain things that they're trying to get out the, of the way before they get to you. Now, for some of you guys, this could be they're currently like in college and they're currently pursuing a degree. And for whatever reason, they feel like they have to have that completed before they come to you. I don't know. But other than that, I, that's not really what I was getting. I was trying to water it down. I'm not going to lie. This person's in a relationship. Okay? They're in a relationship. And I feel like the only way that they can really connect with you without getting quote-unquote caught is telepathically. All right? So you guys be picking up on each other's energy intuitively. I feel like y'all probably, I don't know, the safest place for y'all to communicate. 222 on the clock is in the dream state. This person's already in a relationship. Okay, one card on the relationship. I wasn't going to do it, but just one card. I don't want to be too nosy. What, what do they need to know about this hierophant card? What do my viewers need to know? Because I don't want to do too much. What do my viewers need to know about this relationship? The magician card. Okay, so you could already know your person... And only take it if it resonates. Like, it, it it could possibly not even be surprising that they're in this energy where it's like, I'm not even surprised that they have a relationship. Or I'm not even surprised that they're still with so-and-so yet trying to kind of make a way. I'm telling you, this person is trying to make a way. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't know how they're doing it. And I'm not going to lie. Like, with this magician card, they, they making some steps. This person could also be very spiritual. Like, there could be times where they've gotten to you energetically and you're like now how the fuck did that happen this person is really big on not me i was about to say uh i was gonna say voodoo i'm not gonna lie and no i'm not talking about like like that was not me saying that well i'm not gonna say what i was about to say if you look at voodoo and all that stuff like it's negative off rip then i don't know you could be the problem but this person culturally so that lets me know we did just talk about louisiana like this person could also be haitian I could see that with the person that I just saw. I ain't gonna lie. Um, well, this could just even be their roots. Like, their their roots, their lineage. Like, it could be very rooted in some type of spiritual practice. So, they can make stuff happen. I'm not gonna lie. But also, this person is a huge manifester. They're very talented. They have resources. Even if you don't want to go into the spiritual portion of it, the magician has resources. The magician can pull... A fucking rabbit out of a, a, a dark hat. A hat that ain't have nothing in it. Okay? Because it's the magician. Alright? However, the magician is also a trickster. You know? So, there's these different layers to this person that I feel like you're already aware of. When it comes to how they maneuver. Why, why do they do this? Because for whatever reason, they feel like this is justified. This could be the type of yep. This could be the type of individual. Let's see what the story is underneath here. Y'all know when I get a pack of cards like this, there's a story. Before I get into it though, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this person holds back. Like they're the type of individual that they could have a whole relationship, but they would be the type, as an example, to be trying to get at you. But you'd be like, "Aren't you in a relationship?" And they're like, "Yeah." Like. <laughs> But, like, I'm trying to see what's up with you. And you're like, but you're in a relationship. But they're like, but I'm trying to see what's up with you. And you're like, but you're in a relationship. And they're thinking to themselves, does she not understand? It's like this weird-ass perspective. Because to this person, they're like, 
I'm not going to end my relationship until I know for sure that you, you feeling me like, so this person, they want to take a risk towards you, but it's like, I'm not letting go of everything until I know for sure. Oh my gosh. Bless me. Okay. <laughs> we got the four of pentacles. See, keeping something very close to their chest. They could also have a plan to move or a plan to visit a certain city. I'm telling you, this is giving pop-up energy. I would not be surprised at this person. I just heard, I'm in your city. I'm in your city. Yeah. This person might end up in your city. If you start seeing them posting stuff, now all of a sudden they're in Houston, Dallas, Vegas. Okay, Atlanta. Okay, they're in Maine. Like, it's like, why are you even here? It's because, yeah, they're plotting. Like, they might be there on a vacation, but trust and believe. They're going to be walking them Vegas streets looking for y'all. Walking those Floridian streets looking for y'all. Okay, I'm not playing. So, we also have the full card. The Queen of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, there definitely feels like there's a third party situation here. Um, it's funny though, because your person doesn't seem like they're willing to let it go. Even though it feels like there's some shit going on over there. I'm trying not to get into it. But uh, yeah, there, it feels like there's some stuff going on in that relationship. But we're not here for that, you know. We don't want to be too messy. But I do feel like there was a third party situation here. And it does feel like a specific love situation. Okay. Um, if by chance it does have something to do with this whole like they're in college. They're trying to figure out their life before they come to you. Okay. You know. blah, That could be the third party. But really this feels like they're already tied up in something. Oh my throat. Oh my gosh. Look at this y'all. How did this happen? As I look down. These are literally like right here like this. And a whole nother deck. These were, these already been here though. But that's weird. Those same cards. Okay. So this is big. They're stuck. They feel stuck. But I wonder if they're really stuck. Like this is the thing. They got multiple things. They feel stuck like they can't come towards you the way they want to. Even though they're still chugging along. But they're, they also feel stuck in a relationship. Or in a dynamic. That I feel like could already be kind of dwindling. Or if it's not necessarily dwindling, they're going through something right now. Um, and there's this energy, but my thing is like, you could, well, I don't want to say it like that because it's not always easy. But it's like to that person, like, like if y'all wasn't in this reading, <laughs> if I was just talking to them, I would be asking them like, well, why do you feel like you have to stay in this connection? Or why do you feel this obligation? Why do you feel so guilty? Why do you feel so stuck here? Okay. There's something here where that makes them feel very stuck. There's like an obligation. They feel obligated. It's just hard for me to feel bad for them because I still see that they're they're playing games. You know what I mean? Like they're still playing games. Regardless of even though like I'm over here expressing <laughs> almost to the point where it makes sense, it doesn't make sense. They need to pick a side. They need to pick a side, okay? Why is this Queen of Swords here? Yep, okay. We have the Empress. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So we also have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Six of Cups. Wow. That's a lot of Scorpionic energy right there. This person is in deep thought about you. Um, or like when they do start thinking about you, like I said, like I'm getting a lot of like when I first wake up, especially if you were in their dreams, if, if they, when they do start thinking about you, it gets deep. Like it's not just a, like a shallow surface level. I think it might start off with them thinking about like what you're achieving. They love to think about like, okay, I'm not going to lie. You could have thought this person was pretty shallow. I could see that because they like to make a lot of, uh, they're taking me to this one person who will always make all these compliments like, oh, our kids could be beautiful, like our kids could be, but it's like, okay, do you care about anything else? So this person could be real heavy on looks. They could dress really nice. You could dress really nice. There's something about, um, with this Empress card, like if we were to come together, like we would be dope. Like we would be that couple. Okay. But underneath all of that, it gets a lot deeper. I can see that here. 
but they do feel like like you match them and it's crazy because i'm not gonna lie with the person that i was seeing um they just gave me y'all y'all ever see those men that be on instagram or whatever i don't know they could be having channels or like they could be selling like a, a product or like be a model for a product like i kept seeing that so there this person could be heavily like in the public eye or they could just be well known or like their image like they're known for being aesthetically pleasing for having their shit together things like that um they could even be known for being single or known for continuing to act single even if they're in a relationship who is this person that's sick about my power three this person's older than you oh the emperor Ooh, ooh. <laughs> we could have worked but she was toxic so i'm not gonna lie this was someone who i feel like and it's so silly because like what does that even mean if they weren't in that energy then y'all would have worked it's like okay like i don't even want to say that um but i'm not gonna lie like y'all could have really i mean the emperor and the empress is here but the devil is here too it's like someone was still in devil energy this to me was like a connection that came together i don't want to say at the wrong time because things happen for a reason right but i could see that like this came together at a time when I wasn't fully developed. You wasn't fully developed. I was in a certain state. You was in a certain state. You was still being a hoe. Okay. You st still had multiple people. But it's like there's this energy of like in the midst of their wholeness. <laughs> Sign on this stuff. In the midst of this Knight of Wands energy, y'all met. Y'all came together. Y'all experienced. And I'm not going to lie. It, it could have been a very vibrant energy here. But then shit got crazy. Okay. Because the lover's card. To have the lover's and the devil card here. Like this. Could turn into this. See that. Or this. Could turn into this. But this turned. The lover's turned into the devil card. So something went toxic here. There was triggering. There was a lot of like pulling things up to the surface. So I feel like y'all met, even though it might have felt like the wrong timing, y'all met at the right time. Whatever needed to be triggered, whatever needed to be received, whatever needed to be shifted, it was able to do so. There was a reason for that. There was a deeper reason, a deeper spiritual reason. Um, And even if y'all are not meant to necessarily be together... With this Empress and this Emperor card. Damn, I just busted somebody's bubble. I'm sorry. But I'm just trying to be realistic. I just feel like both of you are supposed to be in Emperor and Empress energy. And that. Like, both of y'all have that energy. And there's this vibe of like, bringing each other up to see themselves as that. Okay. I feel like this person is going to reach out. Let's see, will this person reach out? Because I did just see the Eight of Wands. Will this person reach out? Uh-oh. We have the King of Pentacles. Dang, they would confuse me. I don't know if these were upright or reversed. But we have the Page of Wands, the Knight of Cups. Like I said, I already feel like this person may reach out. They're definitely like looking towards you. But if they end up, this person's sensitive, okay? If they see the wrong thing, it's like they throw themselves into work. They're like, all right, I'm about to just get to the money. Um, I'm just going to focus on work. I'm just going to, like, focus on the bag. They could have some ego issues. I don't know. Or e really, for real, like, think about it. Like, are you already in a relationship? <laughs> they might not feel safe or comfortable to come towards you. What am I picking up on here? Ooh. Okay. Oh my god, I just got so hot. Give me one second, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, y'all. My nose is like, I don't know. It's running like it ain't never ran before. Like, this person could have been a runner. I don't know. And I also feel like with this reading, this last pile is like really clearing me out. <laughs> like, why is my nose running like this? Not to be disgusting. But let's do this, okay. Let me put this back. Let me put this back. Let me put this back. Only because 
I don't know if I have the deck upright. I just need to be clear, okay? So as we all can see, I got the deck. It's correct. Will this person reach out? All right, so they still came. So that's, that was supposed to happen. The Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Wands. I'm telling y'all, well, okay, I'm gonna leave that here. So why did I see the Eight of Wands? I don't know if they feel like, maybe they're gonna reach out, but it's like the timing, maybe not soon. They're, they're looking at you though. Something is not, not where they want it to be for them to come forward. The Two of Cups, I told you that the, uh, oh my gosh, is this the Nine of Wands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I almost said seven. Okay, let me just tell y'all what I'm picking up on. Because the Eight of Wands was already flashed to me. It didn't drop out, but it was flashed to me. So I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. But the timing of it is where we're kind of getting a little weird. Because there's something about, like, I be trying to come towards you and then I see something. Or I be trying to come towards you and then I hear something. There's something that stops this person in their track. It could be the uncertainty. It could be, like, life. Just life. You know, life be life. And it could be life be life for you. Or it could just be real shit. Life be life for them. Like, maybe when they about to reach out to you or make a move, it just, things get dismantled. Because these cards, with the Three of Wands in reverse, the Page of Wands in reverse, that would really speak to me as no. But I'm telling you, I already saw that Eight of Wands. They can't trick me. They can't trick me. There's something here that they're kind of like, I have to tread carefully with this. So whoever this person is, there could be a, a very specific reason why there's this back and forth energy. I don't know. Maybe they did something. Okay. <laughs> maybe they did something. Maybe like whatever they did, it's not, it doesn't make it super easy or super clear as far as like how they should come to you or like them even knowing what to do when they come to you okay um it's something like i also am picking up on this energy i just heard like i don't want them to see me like this so yeah if this person is not doing their best or like there's a certain way they want to be in order to come to you okay so i don't know they could have a a fucking big ass business and be really popping shit but it's t when they compare it to what you got going on or like what they feel like you deserve they're like it's not enough okay can you give me some more insight who is this person Lorraine Anderson someone's name can start with an L or an A but anyway who is this person 333 on the clock who is this person? Let's talk about my pile three. Okay, coin toss. We have, is that Virgo? It is. So we have Virgo, second house in Virgo. Choices, either or, be fair, considering the pros and the cons. I, I picked up on that. Fate, equal, two sides to every story. Butterfly effect, either way, 50-50 chance, unpredictable, can't decide, take a chance. Y'all, this is the energy, literally. You see how that's real back and forth? It's real this or that. Like, it might sound weird how I was trying to describe it, but I'm telling you, it's all in these cards. Look at this shit, happening soon. The situation or event in question will develop or unfold very soon. And that could be another thing that I was picking up on with the Eight of Wands. Let's say they don't necessarily call you. Um, there's like progression, like there's movement happening. So there's the there's more steps being taken, whatever that means. Okay, so there's more progression with this situation, and that could mean you got to open your mind up with that. Like that could mean taking steps towards you. That could be mean their mind is opening up back to you. That could mean they're starting to have revelations. It could mean so many different things. Look at that. <laughs> we have six house Aries. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, anyway, achievement, recognition, overthrows. <laughs> the overthrow is cracking me up. Success, victory, winner, conquest, mastery, bragging rights, carry the day, plans are coming to fruition, king of the mountain. This person, like, that's the thing about them. That's when they start getting into that toxic energy. Um, 
this person likes to win okay and I feel like that is something that they they want to do like they want to win um I'm not even just necessarily getting win you I'm getting like I'm gonna win like just in general they could be very competitive they could be very like I want to be the baddest bitch I gotta be him I'm him and only him like I don't know there is something very possessive like very territorial like when it comes to that energy let's see how are they feeling how does this person feel about my viewers I just rolled my eyes um let's see we have we the people seventh house leo declaration defiance reclaiming power so they feel like you could be very defiant but that's funny though because really what i think it is is they're not used to another bad bitch being up in here just saying i mean the emperor and the empress come on that's like think about it if the emperor and the emperor the emperor ooh, okay this could be an emperor and emperor co co uh, connection and i was about to say correction but let's say the emperor and the empress right um if one of them was in reverse or like in their shadow energy of course the other one that's not in that energy is going to be like oh they're just defiant they're just not in their best energy da, da, da. so i feel like there's something here where there could be like not a misreading but like if you don't fall to this person's will or like bend at their beck and call um they could look at it as like a sign of defiance so they could have power struggles you could also have power struggles that could have been something that was very prominent in the connection i'm sorry y'all i'm about to cough and i am going to do it on camera i'm sorry <coughs> <coughs> sorry my bad okay declaration defiance reclaiming power so they do feel like you're reclaiming your power sovereignty contract you are very like protective of your space okay you could also be in a relationship. We have resolve is expressing truth, manifesto, self-rule, liberty or death, rules of the game, protesting, challenging the status quo. So they would say, like, you don't really stay in the lines. Like, you don't color in the lines. Like, you do your own thing. I feel like that's attractive to them, but it's also, like, something that makes them antsy. But that's because they got control issues. Um... Also, we have no. The answer is no. The situation or event is not unfolding at this time. Don't lie to me. I just seen it. Okay. So we got some back and forth energy here. I'm telling y'all, I can already see that there's shifts happening here. But there's a big ass. There'll be shifts happening. And I think that's why it's moving so slow. There's like this energy. And when I say moving slow, like I'm not saying that y'all want this person back. But y'all might even want some type of communication. But all I'm going to say is that Knight of Pentacles, it moves slow because there's these, I'm literally seeing, y'all ever played Mario and it'd be like those, I just heard, dun, 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 dun. like it'd be them things popping off the ground, not the mushroom, but it, I keep seeing these things pop up in this person's way. And like, I'm hearing like they died or something. No, that they didn't die. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that, but in the game, oh my gosh, like they got knocked off and now they got to start over. They might got to go a couple yards back, okay? But, like, but um, it it's not giving no. It might be a no in that moment <laughs> as far as them coming forward or, like, making way towards you or, like, I'm almost seeing them try to, they're trying to come into focus, whatever that means. It can mean many things. It's almost like they're blurred out right now, but they're trying to become into focus as far as what you can see. Like, I'm seeing the Simpson where he, like, fades out. But this person is trying to fade in. But these little Mario mushroom things that keep popping up. Whatever the fuck I'm talking about. The little green things. I don't know. It's like, when, when it pops up, it makes this person be like, you know what, fuck it. Like, alright, forget it. But then they, after they have some time for some R&R, &R, they get back into the mode. Like, it's not easy to get to you, which makes me think that there could be a reason why they have all these obstacles. Shit. Your spiritual team might be like, yeah, and they not going to get to them. <laughs> um, but there could also be this energy of, like, this is what they have to do in order to get to you. Okay? Or maybe they have to go through these loops and hoops. Maybe the end goal is to be together. Or maybe the end goal is to reach a certain perspective, learn lessons. You know, come to some type of conclusion. I'm not really sure. So, Yeah. And that's what I'm getting with that. I'm going to leave that there. Because my nose is running again. 
my nose is a running. So let's see. Give me two cards. If, like whoever's watching. Okay, two to three cards. Who is this person? What's their zodiac sign? Let's do sun sign. We're rising. Okay, so we have the sun. <laughs> Leo energy. This person could be a sun Leo or a rising Leo. We also have expand. So we have Sagittarius energy. Ninth house, okay. Jupiter. This person likes to um, go out and have a good time. Look at that, unconscious. Oh, why did I think that said unconscious male? It doesn't. It says conscious aim male. But I feel like I saw what I saw. <laughs> so this person could be waking up to like their divinity, you know? And it seemed like it had to happen outside of the separation. They definitely have a lot of sexual energy towards you because with the world, we have a lot of fire energy coming through. Fifth house, and we have Aries, so more Leo, Aries, and then something fell on the ground. Oh, here we go. Mercury, Gemini, Virgo, all right. And I'll just put these in the camera if anybody wants to read them. Girl, it's like... I don't even know what just happened to me. <laughs> but my camera ran out of storage. And then my nose started running crazy. I just have to. I gotta end it. I got to end it. Y'all ever seen. Uh, not real. Oh yeah. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Do y'all remember Kenya and Mark. That one scene where he was like. End it. End it. Scene. Whew. That man was tired of being in the public eye. He was tired of everything. Okay. So this could have like got fucked up before it even started. Like it might not even got off the ground the way you wanted it to. For real. Because I think Kenya and Mark were married. But like to the public eye it seemed very quick like how they came together. And then how it ended. Okay. It didn't seem very long. So anyway. That is your spread. Please let me know how it resonates and I will see you guys down below in the comments.